Hey guys, it's me Cosmic, and today we're going to talk about furry art as well as commissioning it. <clears throat> now, when you are commissioning furry art for the first time, it can be a bit confusing. So, this is going to be a guide to help you out with that. Now, number one, ref sheets. A ref sheet is very important because it helps the artist know what they are working with. What species, what colors, will there be wings, horns, and so on. And although some artists may accept and be able to work with something like a VRChat screenshot, this does not seem to be very common. As such, it's still a good idea to commission a ref sheet first, it will also make future commissions easier for you, as well as the artist. Now, another thing that I would highly recommend is providing an F2U art to the ref sheet artist, since you don't have a pre-established ref sheet. I do have a video about F2Us and Sonas, so I won't parrot myself here, and recommend that you check that video out. Once you have contacted the artist and gotten a deal, going, provide them the F2U ref sheet, or if you already have one, provide the artist with uh, the ref sheet and let them do their magic. If possible, do provide them a tip afterwards because artists are, you know, they're not exactly the biggest money makers out there, and it really helps to give them even a small tip. Now bring, this brings us to how to find a commission artist. Well, there are three main options. 1. Social media, 2. Deviant art, and 3. The dealer's den in a furry convention. Now, the dealer's den part will need you to enter a furry convention. So, we're not going to talk about that one, and instead we're going to talk about number 1 and 2. We'll talk about number 3 in my future video that is going to be dedicated to furry conventions. Now you may be wondering, what is an F2U? Well, let's go on Google. Over here, we are going to type F2U ref sheet. Right here. And here we have a free to use ref sheet. Now, once you see this, don't just immediately right click it click it and save as. Instead, just click on it real quick and then take a look at what they have typed. New to the fandom, but don't know where to start. Need to figure out the next fursuit or maybe just good old ref sheet. Furries to add. Let's go to Anyways, here's what you'll need to do before using the space. Yeah, this is going to be the part that you're focusing. For example, do not re redistribute saying you made the space. You can make designs or fill in your characters here. The anatomy is far from perfect, I know this. No, I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's good. You may sell designs with this if you'd like. Do not repost into other sites, please. The base itself, that is. The base itself. Well, I'm not posting the base itself, but okay. You may edit the space, create your own additions for it, plus redistribute them however you see fit, edit line art, and so on. Yeah, basically, read the rules that they have in place and respect those rules. Just be respectful to the artist's wishes. They are the ones that are providing the F to you. The least that you can do here, other than, you know, if they have a Patreon donating them some art, some money as a thank you, the least you can do is, you know, respect the rules that they have set in. That is an F2U. You're going to get a ref sheet like that and then provide it to the artist to use that as a baseline to work with, like a blueprint of sorts. Alright, so for example, right, go into search and we'll go with furry art. Let's go to media. And from here, for example, just, you know, while you're looking, Pick an art that you like. Pick an art style that you like here. For example, I really find this art style pretty cool, right? We're gonna go to here. Oh, it's Jan! Yeah. And then... Right here, comms. 
not open DM or email. General card, you're gonna go there. And here it is, gallery and prices, terms of service and so on. You can do this with other furry artists as well. Again, for example, let's pick this one. Yo, that's actually cool. Ooh, that's, is that an alligator or a crocodile? I can't tell, but it's really cool though. So let's see, the artist right here. Uh, do they, oh, well. Hello, my name is Kung, I'm a digital artist, telegram channel. Okay, welcome. Oh. Oh, that's actually pretty cute. That's very cute. So let's see right here. Oh, I don't know that language. Uh, I'm gonna need to take a look at a different one. Yo, yo, that's cool. I damn, I like this lizard. I like that. So let's see. Do they have commissions closed? Now, obviously, because it's closed, you can't commission them at the moment. But for example, let's say that I want to commission this artist right here. The first thing I'm going to do is, other than following, is going to be notify button. Click the notification so that the next post that they do, even if it isn't related to commissions, uh, gets sent to my notifications. I can check it out, and if it says commissions opened, or a slot to commission has been opened, immediately go ahead and do my whole thing. You can do the same thing with essentially Instagram. Let's go to Sir, for example, say furry art, right? Hashtag furry art, there it is. Go ahead and click the hashtag and slowly just scroll through. And once you like one of the artworks, for example, right here, flavor of flavor. Their art is incredible, by the way. Very cute. So, let's see here. Commissions closed, no trades, most active on Twitter. Yeah, you're gonna click this. And again, you're basically gonna do the same thing. Follow them, and then, you know, apparently they have a Twitter, so go ahead and do the same thing that we did to SVE over here. Uh, follow and open notifications, and patiently wait. This is how you find your furry uh, artists. This is how you can find furry artists that are also able to do commission work. Or perhaps more accurately, willing to do commission work. And with this done... Another thing would be... Now, this the same thing will apply to fursuit commissioning as well, however, the only difference is you're going to need a ref sheet that is fursuit friendly. Fursuit friendly ref sheet examples. Oh! Z, right? I think this is Z the raccoon, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but basically, the ref sheet will need to be applicable to a fursuit as well. And you can find F2Us of fursuit friendly ref sheets as well. Sheet F2U. Yeah. Now again, don't just right click and save. Do make sure to take out, take a look at the rules. And that's wait, is that an Oh my god, a volley! Yes, I love space burb. Wait, now, wait, now I'm thinking about. Is there a volley? Is isn't it? Oh, it's a thing! Oh. Well, now I know what I'm saving my money for next time, after the Terra Fursuit. Oh! Oh my god, Kimono of Oli Fursuit, that, that is just beautiful. That is just beautiful. Alright, 
before I stop, you I start just fanboying all over the Ovalis, I'll go ahead and finish the video right here. I hope it was helpful, and I shall see you later. Goodbye.